Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. At the time of recording, early Wednesday afternoon, widespread cloud and rain is affecting many parts of the country. But the overwhelming theme for the next 10 days is for widespread dry weather, plenty of sunshine as well with high pressure often nearby. In fact, at the time of recording, high pressure is nearby. It's sitting to the east and another one is sitting towards the southwest. It's just this low that is causing some outbreaks of rain during Wednesday afternoon, but that moves away. The high pressure to the southwest moves in, then it joins forces with the high to the east. And it's that high really that dominates things through the next 10 days. It will mostly mean settled, dry, sunny weather, but not always. There are a couple of exceptions, one notable one being early next week with this little feature, which I'll talk more about in a moment. Nevertheless, as Wednesday's low moves away, high pressure builds in, clear skies and light winds overnight will lead to a touch of frost first thing in places on Thursday. A chilly start for many, but you can see eastern Scotland, much of England and Wales, sunny skies during the morning. Cloud builds from the northwest. Outbreaks of rain and showers move into Scotland, Northern Ireland. One or two showers for Northern England and North Wales as well. But quite heavy downpours there in the northwest. A blustery breeze turning things colder and we'll see some hail, sleet, snow coming out of those showers mainly over the hills of Northern Scotland. But further south it stays dry and there'll be plenty of sunshine in the south and the southeast 15 or 16 Celsius feeling very pleasant indeed in that sunshine certainly compared to Wednesday's wet weather. But of course, clear skies overnight and with the showers moving out of the way will mean a widespread frost for the start of wet, uh, Friday. Temperatures around or just below freezing. Then Friday is looking like a fine day for most. The far north to the far south, dry, plenty of sunshine, just some fair weather cumulus or stratocumulus building across central parts, but warm again. In the south, 15 or 16 Celsius. In the north, 10 to 12 degrees. So a big difference between morning temperatures and afternoon temperatures. It starts off chilly, then it soon warms up. And that's the theme on Friday, Saturday, Sunday as well, perhaps to a lesser extent. So widespread frost on Saturday morning, but plenty of sunshine from the word go. Those temperatures rising and those blue skies, well, affecting for the vast majority, I think, on Saturday because High pressure to the east will mean we're drawing our air in from the continent. It's dry air coming in on the periphery of that high. But you can see the isobars are quite tightly packed together. So that means although it will be sunny, although we'll see widespread dry weather, it's going to be quite breezy as well, particularly around the south coast and any higher parts of the UK as well, where the wind will be bouncing over the hills and it will be a blustery. But on the other side of the hills, of course, the wind will be warming up as it comes down. And so it's really in, in sheltered parts of North and West Wales, Northwest England, uh, Northern Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland, where we'll see temperatures up to 15, 16, 17, perhaps 18 Celsius. Northwest Highlands, for example, the warmest spot likely on Saturday afternoon. But it will feel cool with that breeze, nevertheless, towards the south and the east, 11 to 13 Celsius. Similar on Sunday, temperatures perhaps a couple of degrees down in many places. Still, Northwest Highlands, the warmest spot. Still breezy in the south and a bit more cloud building in the south. But overall, it's dry on Sunday and plenty more sunshine is expected. Now, the cloud in the south on Sunday is building ahead of low pressure, which is starting to emerge from France. You can see that low pressure developing actually during Sunday night and into the start of Monday. It brings with it some rain or showers, but I wouldn't take the position of that rain on Monday afternoon too literally because by this stage there's a lot of uncertainty about Monday's rain. The reason is because the low at the surface is being forced by an area of low pressure high in the sky, several miles up around where the jet stream uh, flies around the globe. And that low way up in the sky has, well, had a long journey on its uh, trip uh, approaching the UK for the start of next week. It's come in over the top of that high pressure, come in through Europe, and then it's starting to move up from the south again, and it's basically forcing that low pressure at the surface by this stage. But it becomes quite uh, convoluted and quite uh, complicated by the start of next week with that upper area of low pressure. Different computer models are saying different things about how it develops and as a result the distribution of rainfall on the map for Monday itself. I'll just show you this. These are called postage stamps because of 
what they look like. You can't post a letter with them. What they show is a map of the UK on each of these frames, and each map is the result of a computer model run for Monday. We run the computer model several times and tweak the starting conditions very slightly and see if there are big differences that emerge for a few days' time. And that's certainly the case for Monday. Some of these model runs are showing widespread rain across the country for Monday. Others show hardly ra any rain at all. And so that leads to a lot of uncertainty about the distribution of that rainfall on Monday itself and perhaps into the start of Tuesday as well as it moves away. But on the bigger picture, virtually all the computer models, it says here 94% say that on Monday, this is the broader pattern, high pressure to the east, keeping Atlantic lows out of the way. So the main uncertainty is about that small area of low pressure and its associated rain as it moves north during Monday and Tuesday. Once it's out of the way, midweek, we're back to that high pressure to the east. We're back to dry weather, plenty of sunshine as well. And then later next week, the only difference really is that we're going to see a slightly different position for that high closer to the UK, to the south perhaps, allowing some showers into the far north of Scotland. So overall, through the next 10 days, it's high pressure that is in charge. Overall, there'll be plenty of sunshine, and under that sunshine by day, uh, it will feel warm. This is the temperature trend for Leeds, for example. Could have picked anywhere, really. They all show the same thing. The red line there is the average for the time of year. The date is on the bottom, and the little boxes show the expected temperature for each day. The bigger the box is, the more uncertainty. But all of these boxes show the temperature for each day above the average for the time of year. So we're looking at low to mid-teens perhaps even high teens in places. So above average temperatures, high pressure keeping things broadly dry and settled for the next 10 days with plenty of warm sunshine, perhaps some chilly nights as well. The one exception, those outbreaks of rain on Monday and Tuesday, a lot of uncertainty at the moment, but we'll keep you updated as always on social media. Bye-bye.